a Dropbox is a cloud utility, meaning that information is stored on a server, which is on the internet. So I will show you two ways in which you can access your Dropbox. Say, for example, you went to the Dropbox website and you downloaded the utility onto your computer. You can actually just scroll up and you'll find the Dropbox icon. You can click on it and say, open Dropbox folder. So we're going to open the Dropbox folder. Notice how you'll see folders inside of the Dropbox folder. It just regular, you know, what I'm saying just the same as any other um, directory that you look into, like a Windows Explorer or a uh, Macintosh Explorer or a Linux Explorer for whatever it means. Uh, the little check box, you know, what I'm saying the check marks in the lower left hand corner that just shows you that the files have been synchronized with the server on the um, net. So that means that it's readily available for anyone to look at. Now I'm not about to go into any of these um, folders to show you like how everything is in there uh, synchronized as well because that's kind of personal and y'all need to be in that personal business. So let's close that out. Say for example you are on another computer and you don't have Dropbox on there but you do have an account online right? So we're going to pull up a browser that will show you logged in into your Dropbox account and while you're logged in you actually have access to those files that have been fully synchronized to the server. And apparently it'll be a you know saying very synonymous to looking at it from your Dropbox folder on your computer. So it basically you can carry your files anywhere you want and have access to them anytime that you need them. And that's pretty much how Dropbox works. Again, with a free account, you get initially up to two gigs. The more people that you refer, the more space that you get. Now it's time for ice cream, or maybe some nuts. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of other things that might just be really useful for you when you're on your computer. So these things are called keyboard shortcuts, and you may know some of these, but I'm just going to share a broad list of all the ones that we have talked about today amongst ourselves that we all know. So um, hopefully this will help you. And if you know any more that we didn't mention, definitely comment on this video and fill us in because we don't know about those either. Okay, so I'm just in Word and I'm going to show you some of what these keyboard shortcuts do. So the first one I'm going to show you is how to save something through a keyboard shortcut. And that's just Control S or if you're on a Mac like I am, you use that command button, it's got the like squiggly square thing on it, and so it's command S instead of control S. So as you can see, it's asking me to save this. So I'm just gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna save on my desktop. Cool. Um, also, if you select command A or control A, it selects everything in the document, so it's kinda like select all, um, command A. Okay, so next, if you select everything and then select command C that copies and command V pastes and if you want to undo something through a keyboard shortcut you select command Z and it undoes what you just did and in similar fashion if I um, paste that back and hit um, select this and select command X it cuts it so if you wanted to cut something you can select command X and let's see another one is command F it's find something so if you want to find something select command F and that's um, in Word in a browser um, wherever and let's see what else oh if we go into the browser and you want to refresh the browser you can select command R or again control R and or if you're on a PC you can select um, F5. F5 will refresh something for you so it's just one button, it's kinda nice. Um, and to zoom in or out you can do command plus and zooms in and then command minus zooms out and that's in browser as well. Um, I think that those were all the keyboard shortcuts that I had for you and again if you have some other ones that you wanted to mention just comment on this video and let us know what they are. Awesome. Thanks, guys.
Thanks for tuning into this episode of Geek Speak. Hopefully the programs that we talked about today will help you lead a more productive life. So until next time, thanks for watching. See ya!